Okay. So, so now that we have the, the environmental scan, which is open for public participation until the 15th of October, it's very important that people read it, try to assimilate it, and then put in their honest feelings. Um, my personal feeling is that this is an absolute no-no. Uh, I, I don't think it's ever going to go ahead. But if it had to, I mean, it would split Edenvale into two major parts with a little funny island in the middle. <laughs> and, and, and I've thought long and hard about how it could be workable, and it, and it, actually, it just couldn't be workable. So um, I'm glad to see that the, the recommendations already in here are that we retain the original route. And um, there will be certainly nothing happening in the next probably 5, 10, 15 years because the, the, um, the, the amount of congestion just does not call for it at this stage. And if ever, if ever, and I must stress, if ever this road has to be built, they will then do a, a thorough EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment. So the residents around at that time will have every opportunity of voicing their opinion, yes. or whatever is proposed there. And more public participation will, will take place. Absolutely, and, it, and that will be proper. I mean, this is really dipping into public participation, but it's been fantastic because we've really had two opportunities to participate. Yes, the first, yeah, the first one in April, which was not really an official <laughs> public participation, but due to you know the outcry from the community. I felt it was necessary to do that, and now, and now, now we have an opportunity to really write, put in writing, what our concerns and complaints are. And uh, if residents want to find out more about the feasibility study and read, read, read on it, where can they get it? The, well, it would. It, I would imagine that it'd be available on their website, but I don't know what it is. But they could send an email to, or well, they could either contact me, the councillor Heather Hart, at 0829021834, and I will send it them. Or they could contact um, Elaine, they could send an email to Elaine at lokisa, L-O-K-I-S-A, dot C-O dot Z-A, and I'm sure, sure she'll gladly send it to them. Okay.